Okay, you know the drill by now. This is impact. This is explosion. This is the TNA save. And you know that Kurt Angle will be defending the TNA TV title tonight. But what you don't know, what you don't know, is that it's not the only title on the line. Right, Impact Tonight kicks off with the TNA World Heavyweight Champion backstage in the establishment's office. Bobby Lashley is pacing up and down. You can see the fury on his face like we hinted at on Explosion last week. After last week where the Pope attacked him, Bobby Lashley is losing his mind. The fact that Jeff Hardy has the audacity to challenge him. And uh, Bischoff says, look, look, you just need to calm down. But Lashley can't calm down. He says, I need to take out this anger on someone. And Bischoff says, well, you've got a match booked. And Lashley says, yeah, but you know what? I need to focus myself. So, Pac, it's your lucky day. Because tonight, the World Championship is on the line and that's how we're going to open the show 71 for the backstage segment and then we go straight into it it's bobby lashley versus pack for the tna world championship and your new no still tna world champion we would only got 57 oh i knew pack would bring it down but by that much that's Wow, Pack putting in ring forms of 40. I probably over used him to be fair in it. Probably he probably quite wasn't quite ready for this spot. And that's probably on me. 74 from Lashley though, he did his best. Times one has a lack of psychology. Pack is getting better on his gimmick. 57. Not great. Let's talk about the finish though, because Bobby Lashley, he when well, he gets the win, but Pack put in a really good showing when Raven gets up on the apron. Raven is trying to cheat to win. To get Pack the win, like he promised last week, Raven is trying to cheat, but Pack doesn't want anything to do with this. There is a ref bump. Uh, Raven tries to throw in a chair, but it's caught by Bobby Lashley, and in the end, the spear from Lashley afterwards when the ref gets to his feet. Bobby Lashley retains the title. Pack putting a good show in, but Raven cost him really in a big, big way. And after the match, Pack decides to take that out. Thirty-seven reign segment. We are trying, trying stuff here. The game's been harsh, but Pac lays out Raven with the super kick, let's say. He does want nothing to do with the flock. Nothing to do with it. Okay, the Amazing Red got a promo on Eric Young for a 39. Not a good promo, but afterwards we did a big tag match. It's the Amazing Red and Suicide against Generation Me for a 59. This is good. Suicide pinned Jeremy Buck with the Suicide Solution. And the match is this proper... Babyface team versus babyface team. 67 from Suicide is the best. 61 from Amazing Red backing that up. 57 and 52 apiece for the Bucks. And you know what? That's not bad, 59. Babyface versus babyface as well. Not bad at all. After the match, both teams shake hands to put over their respect for each other. But watch your backstage was Daniels, who has a look of disgust at the handshake. He is not a fan. Okay, uh, we did a backstage segment with the Machine Guns, the Motor City Machine Guns, talking about Samoa Joe. Sabin versus Joe tonight, remember? And, well, Sabin makes it clear. He doesn't want Alex Shelley to come out with him for the match because Sabin needs to prove he can do this on his own. He needs to prove he is good enough. So it's Sabin versus Joe right now we're doing it next Sabin versus joe gets us a 69 good stuff this time 55 from Sabin. joe carrying it with a 70 handful of the tight samoa joe wins we protected Sabin a little bit but joe had to win here and his feud with the motor city machine guns well it's probably going to end here it's been a decent tv feud for everyone involved but it's probably going to end here Joe, yeah, good win for him. Good win. Afterwards, Samoa Joe calls out Sting again. He says he needs Sting to come out here tonight. And the lights go out and it looks like Sting may be coming, but the lights come back on. And there's no Sting, but there is a message 
on the Tron. And it's the date of Destination X. And it's just a question mark. Samoa Joe smiles. He gets on the mic and he says, you're on. Absolutely. Samoa Joe versus Sting. It's gonna happen again at Destination X. 67, good stuff. Okay, Eric Young. Well, he went into the office of Hulk Hogan for a 72 rate segment. This did really well. Um, Eric Young is he's talking to, to Hulk Hogan and he wants, well, he wants the Ultimate X match cancelled. Eric Young says, look, it's not fair. It's not right. It's just crazy. What, well, I mean, what are you going to ask of me next? What are you going to ask? You're going to ask me to, I don't know, face some goofs like Suicide and, and the Amazing Red? Oh, wait, you're doing that at the pay-per-view. Or you're going to ask me to ask someone, or fight someone like, oh, what are they called now? Like, was it the Cool Sharks? Come on, give me a break. Young's mouth. Young's mouth. Hulk Hogan says, that is a great idea. Next. Go on. Off you go. To the, to the ring. You're taking on the Cool Sharks right now. And he is. Eric Young. 72. Really good segment. And he's teaming with Daniels against the Cool Sharks for a 62. This is good. So Young and Daniels are obviously both part of the X Division match at Destination X. So they can tease some dissension. But they do get the win. Daniels pinning Shark Boy following interference from Hernandez. LAX get themselves involved again here. They cost the Cool Sharks the win. Daniels was the best for the 66. Nash 64, 55 for Young. 44 for Shark Boy, the weak link, but it's okay. He was carried by the rest of the people in the match. Afterwards, as LAX beating up the Cool Sharks, the Cool Sharks are saved by London and Kendrick for a 48. And now we start to move segment by segment. They make the save. We go to break. We come back from break. And the match we announce next week is about to start. We're doing it now. It's Brian Kendrick versus Homicide. And he gets us a 58. The Gringo Killer for the win. Homicide pins one half of the tag team champions. Just like that. That's right. 58 for Brian Kendrick. Homicide 49. It's not bad at all actually for a 58. Kendrick really carried it. But he did take the defeat here. He did take the defeat. Homicide wins for his team in a way. He, in a way. LAX have had a good night. They've, they've beaten up the Cool Sharks and they've beaten up Brian Kendrick here. Good night. Right, Beer Money cut a backstage promo. Mainly talked about AJ Styles ahead of the handicap match tonight. He says AJ Styles. Well, AJ Styles shouldn't be even in the ring with someone like Beer Money. But a two-on-one, I mean, come on. It's so easy. It's going to be so easy. We'll see. A um, couple of matches then announced for next week. How's about this for a big, big main event? It's Jeff Hardy versus the Pope one more time. But this time, it's for the number one contendership. The winner of this one gets a shot at Bobby Lashley at Destination X. Should be interesting. 68. That's not all. Next week, we are also announcing Paul London will be taking on Kevin Nash, London versus Nash next week on Impact. Right, we did a, well, a pretty interesting angle here for a 63. Beer money are out in the ring. AJ Styles makes his entrance, but then he kind of stops up the ramp and he gets on the mic and he says, look, I get that it's going to be two on one in there, but outside of the ring, well, I've got backup. And out come the partnership of pain in an APA style angle here um, Matt Morgan and Tomko have had their issues with beer money over the last few weeks they come out to even the odds in a way it's three on two technically but oh well 63 good stuff the match itself then AJ versus beer money gets us a 71 good stuff here AJ really carried it with the 82 66 from Storm 62 from Rude and AJ wins distraction from Matt Morgan so Rude gets distracted by partnership of pain on the outside and AJ Styles uses that advantage to get a pinning combination. One, two, three. He surprises Beer Money. He gets the win. He escapes the ring with a partnership of pain. It's a good night for AJ Styles. And he's building up some momentum ahead of Mr. Anderson. Anderson at the pay-per-view. Okay, LAX cut a promo on Kendrick and London saying now they've found their groove tonight. They found their focus, and their focus is the TNA Tag Team 
Championships. Good stuff. From there we went to the main event. It's time for the main event. And of course, you know what we're missing. It's for the TNA Television Championship. Kurt Angle comes out to the ring. He gets on the mic and he says, look, I am the best in this company. I am the best between these ropes. I am the best on the microphone. Hello, CM Punk. I am the best in the world. But a lot of people want to make their claim for that title. So I say those people need to come to Destination X and fight me. Another challenge, again, put back out there from Kurt Angle. He also says, but I want the best this company's got to offer week in and week out. And he's interrupted by Magnus. I forgot about this. Uh, we're going to do this next week, sorry. Pre-booking, AJ Styles, Matt Morgan, Tomko, AJ and the partnership of Payne against Beer Money and Rhino, six-man tag next week. But yes, Magnus is, uh, op he, well, he accepts the open challenge of Kurt Angle. He's ready to fight after last week, where of course, he, I think it was last week he lost to AJ Styles, maybe the week before. Um, but Magnus is ready to prove himself. 66 for the segment. The match itself then is for the TNA television title, your winner. And... Still, TNA TV champion for a 78 really good match. Kurt Angle killing it right now. Angle defeated Magnus to retain the title. 86 performance. Jesus, the Angle Slam. Defense number 10 of the title. Kurt Angle wins. 49 for Magnus, though. Really not bad from him, but Kurt Angle carries Magnus here. Big time. Great performance from him. As he's celebrating, though, his celebration is cut off. 68 for the segment. We can't show who yet. But there are, Angle is cut off by a Hollywood trailer style video on the Tron. And the, and the, and the voiceover man is talking about how there is somebody with world class ability. There is somebody with world class star power. There's somebody who thinks, who knows he is the best in the world. And at the pay-per-view, at Destination X, the man will arrive. The man, the star, will arrive. And he will definitely make a... What? That, what do they call it? An impact. He definitely will. 68 gives us... We're trying to beat last week's 70. We don't quite, but a 68 isn't bad. Angle really saved us in a way. Styles put in a good performance, but the rest of the matches, I mean, I kind of let us down with that. If that hits the 69, 70 mark, we could maybe just breach the 70s. We didn't quite. It's still a good impact. It's still a good impact. And next week, we got the number one contendership to deal with. So we got a lot to do there. Okay, we open up Explosion with a six-man tag. Abyss teaming with the Cool Sharks against Rob Terry, Eddie Kingston, and Ken Tack. Kevin Nash pinned Rob Terry with a jackknife powerbomb. He was the best worker with a 64. The worst was Rob Terry with a 27. 53 overall, considering the heel team. That's not bad. Kenta, 45. Eddie Kingston, 41. 52 from Abyss. Not bad at all, really. Um, afterwards, Cool Sharks got a promo on LAX. Well, I say Cool Sharks. This is Kevin Nash. He's, he's hogging the mic here. He's pushing Shark by the way. He says, look, you guys have been a thorn in my side all this time. But at the pay-per-view, you're not winning the Tag Team Championships. I'm winning the Tag Team Championships. Kevin Nash is not really, really appreciating the Tag Team at the moment. But he'll get there. Um, we did a War Room-style battle planning in the back with full maps and everything you go fully lean into it with the beautiful people talking about how they're going to take the knockout championship there's a little bit of tension between velvet and madison rain because obviously we're building towards this triple threat which actually you could say has been announced that's not a problem um and there's a bit of tension of whether over who's going to win the championship but eventually they get on the same page tara is in action next though the, the knockouts champion against april hunter for 44 i realize april hunter's on an actual contract and we're paying her a lot of money and i'm not using her what's she doing on a contract get out widows widows peaked tara wins 57 april hunter 15 they have great chemistry though which is pretty cool so 44 not bad at all after the match though it's not gone well for tara as she's uh leaving and she's on the apron she's attacked by the beautiful people. And this time we did a stunt bump. We did a big bump, especially for Explosion. And the beautiful people 
hit a power bomb shield style in a way off the apron off the apron off the uh, stage and into a table Dudley boys style in a way as well so yeah big bump here from Tara big bump Okay, Pat cut a promo on Raven for 34. He says he wants nothing to do with Raven. He wants nothing to do with the flock. Pac wants to be his own man. 34, fine. As about this for a tag team match. He got 45 as well, not bad at all. As about this for a debuting team. Maybe a team, we might team them together. El Generico and Richie Steamboat. They took on the Kingslayers and the Kingslayers got the victory. Uh, Tyler Black and Cesaro, which we still need to change his name, yeah, good performance from the Kingslayers as well. 43 from Cesaro, 44 from Tyler Black, 27 from Richie Steamboat, 39 from El Generico. Tyler Black pins Richie Steamboat with God's laugh, last gift. He was the weak link. Um, you'll be saying to me, what, why are you bringing in Richie Steamboat? Well, he was the FCW champion and his contract had run out. And am I petty? Yeah. But it's, you know, it, it's Ricky Steamboat's son. It can't be that bad. Maybe. 45. Uh, we went backstage. Eddie Kingston and Kenta are discussing the fact that earlier tonight they were teamed together again. And actually, they teamed together quite well. Maybe they should be making it a more permanent thing when they're approached by Raven, who just says, listen, boys, can we chat? And that's where the scene ends. 48. Moving on quickly. Um, we did a backstage interview with Partnership of Pain, talking about beer money when they're approached by Christy Hemi. Christy Hemi says, look, I was impressed with what I saw. I'm on there. Maybe, maybe I should be getting a closer look. And all of this is to explain the reason that Christy Hemi, who's on a contract and I was hardly using her, is going to be the manager for Matt Morgan and Tom Coe. 52 for the backstage segment and Partnership of Pain were in the main event against Desmond Wolf and Scott Steiner. Matt Morgan pinned Steiner with a elevator. Tom Coe with the weak link with the 36. Steiner was the best with 51. Morgan and Wolf 49 apiece. 54, not bad. Um, Steiner took the pin here because Steiner will soon be leaving the company. Sadly. Or not. Not very sadly. 54. Uh, gives us a 49 rated explosion. About what you'd expect, to be fair. We've got some decent guys in. This is more of a developmental show for us in a way. That's the way I'm starting to treat this. Get the people like Eddie Kingston and Kenta out there a lot. Let's get Cool Shark wins when we can. Let's get King Slayers out there. El Generico out there. Desmond Wolf out there. Partnership of Pain getting a big win. For them, pretty good. Okay, the end of the first episode of the week, then a pretty good one, if I do say so myself. Impact and explosion, we're moving in the right direction. We're steadily moving in the right direction, but we're gonna get there. The new people in the roster have really, really helped, actually. And we're starting to tell some interesting stories. We've got Destination X coming up on the horizon, but before that, another big episode on Thursday. Thursday at 4.30 p.m. UK time. You're going to see some big, big matches again. Kevin Nash versus Paul London on Impact. Why not? And how's about that main event? Number one contendership. Two rivals go at it one more time. Jeff Hardy versus the Pope. Who will be the number one contender? Who will take on Bobby Lashley at Destination X? Well, I guess we're going to have to find out. Also, by the way, Kurt Angle will be defending the TV title again. So a lot to look forward to. If you like this video, make sure you drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel. Or more, a hell of a lot more. And until then, peace.